Politicians say they create jobs, but if you've watched tonight, you understand they don't create real jobs. Free individuals, if they have the protection of limited government, in other words, enough government to provide rule of law, make sure that people can't kill you or take your stuff, then free people left alone create jobs. They invent things. They try new ideas. Most of them fail, but some succeed. And some of those ideas grow into big industries that create real jobs. Economic freedom is the key. And you see that looking at something called the Freedom Index, which ranks countries according to how economically free they are. Do their people have the liberty to acquire property and keep it? The freedom to start businesses and trade? If the answer is yes, then you rise on the list. Here are the top five. These nations are most economically free. Their people prosper. Unemployment's low in these places. 3% in Hong Kong, 2% in Singapore, 5% in Australia, under 3% in Switzerland. Here are the next five countries. The United States has fallen to ninth place. What's Canada doing on a list of economically free countries above America? Well, Canada does have government health care, but it did a lot of other things right. Canada lowered taxes, cut regulations. The Canadian dollar then rose in value, and unemployment went down 7% now compared to our 9%. Of course, Ireland's on the list. It has 14% unemployment, but that's a special case of crazy banks and too many government bailouts. The moral of the story is that the best places in the world to live and the healthiest economies are countries that are economically free. And at least the United States is a long way from the countries at the bottom of the list. There isn't prosperity or job creation in any of these countries, those that have the least economic freedom. Unfortunately, most politicians still don't get that economic freedom and therefore less government create prosperity. And certainly union leaders really understand that. Unions thrive by limiting employers' freedom, making it harder for them to change, innovate, or move to South Carolina, whatever. That freedom is what allows companies to grow. And that's what gives us job growth. It's a big reason union companies like GM and Chrysler shrank while non-union Toyota and Honda prospered. But as I said, union leaders don't get that. I still try to convince them. You union thugs are sucking the life out of America. You know what I say to that? I say that the trade union movement is the greatest anti-poverty um, program that was ever developed. Jobs are the best anti-poverty program. There's more job growth when you guys are not involved. That's absolutely false. The trade union movement and civil service in this country has been the gateway into the middle class. That's, that's what this is about. It's so frustrating talking to those guys. And it's frustrating talking to people in the street outside the studio who seem to think everything good comes from government. Well, sure. Who do you think cleans the streets, collects taxes, runs the schools, cleans the snow? Government is great. They don't get to their positions by being uh, too stupid. Does government create jobs? To some degree, yes. But the good news is that more people understand that's not true. More politicians even. This year is the first time I've heard so many presidential candidates talk about the private sector. I'm very proud of my experience in the private sector. An engine called the private sector. I'm a person that's had feet in the private sector. I spent my life in the private sector. That's refreshing. And even more refreshing were some of the things I heard some people in Times Square say. And I'd like to close our show tonight on that happy note, listening to them. When I hear some politician say, oh yeah, we need to create jobs, how's a politician going to create jobs? Don't depend on politicians so much. I don't think that government creates jobs. Politicians and creating jobs, to me, that's two things that doesn't seem to go together. They got it, right? That's our show. Thanks for watching. Good night.